with linebacker James Kayser, who's uh, dealt with some injuries and adversity and is ready to go for uh, his fifth year of eligibility here in 2022. And uh, first of all, I'm sure it's it's kind of been frustrating. You've dealt with some injuries and everything else. How are you feeling right now uh, as camp is about a week in? Yeah, I'm feeling really good and really healthy and excited to finish my senior year. All right, you come in here and, uh, uh, you know, the linebacker spot, there's there's some questions there. You're talking about maybe moving with Darzik a little bit, and there's probably, if there's one position that's maybe not set in stone, cut and dry, it might be the linebacker spot uh, as far as depth goes. Yeah, we have a lot of young guys in the, in the shoot right now and some older guys with some experience, um, but we got to solidify that, that spot. Um, but I'm excited. we got a lot of good guys in the room right now. Do you feel like you kind of... You have to get, relearn some things. When you get into this point and you've done this for two or three years, kind of what's your mindset coming into to, to camp and how you uh, how you look at it? Yeah, I mean, there's always things to learn, always techniques to get better at. Um, coach Olson is a great coach and has taught me so much. But as you get older, the things that come more important is leading your teammates um, and teaching those young guys what it means to be a bison and, and be a headhunter. What are some of those things that uh, you try to instill in those young guys? <laughs> Run to the football. <laughs> Code green, play hard, play fast, play together. Uh, they can do those things. They can play ball here. When you think about it, uh, you try to break down football and break out and all these little things. It's a very simple game. You just fly the football and get after it. Yeah, uh, run to the football, tackle the guy with the football. It yep. becomes quite simple. <laughs> yep. uh, some new opponents. For a lot of you guys, you haven't played an FBS game. You get a chance at Arizona. It's going to be on national TV. I'm sure that's, uh, has that been talked about a lot maybe outside of camp? I mean, yeah, we're excited for the opportunity. I personally haven't got to play in one of those FBS games, so I'm super excited to play Arizona this year. You know, the question I always think about when um, you're 17 or 18, you come in and hear wide-eyed, and you dealt with COVID, you dealt with injuries. What have you learned through all this? I mean, what would at you at 22, 23 years old, what would you tell 18-year-old James Kaser? It's a really good question. Um, Honestly, I would tell myself to read the Bible more um, and go to church and surround myself with um, better people. I I think it would have set me up for a better career. um, And just instead of going through those hard mistakes, maybe learning them quicker. (laughs) You know, some of the friends you've met, I mean, just some of the, you know, you got guys from small towns from all over the country. And the the one thing that brings it brings it all together is this is this football program. Yeah, it's an op- awesome opportunity to play college football, especially here at NDSU. You get guys from Florida, Georgia, small town North Dakota, uh, St. Cloud, Minnesota, like myself, all coming around. One common goal is to win ball games. Yeah, you come back that from from St. Cloud. Your dad uh, was a football coach like that. What do you think he What do you think he'd say to you right now? <laughs> I hope he'd say he's really proud of me. Um, yeah. All right, James. Uh, appreciate it. Best of luck this season, and hope uh, hope for good health. Yes. Thanks for having me on.